necklace with the blue thing. <laughs> she dropped know. like it. So this new musical is spinning the classic tale of Titanic in Titanic, though. Celine Dion crashes a Titanic museum tour and gives her take on what happened between Jack and Rose. I can't I know. stop laughing. This is going to be this is oh, gonna be tough, folks. I yeah, just love it. So back in July, Broadway alum Jackie Burns joined the cast as the new lead. Now, you probably know her from Wicked. She was the longest running Elphaba in the show's okay. history. Hello. <laughs> Jackie Burns joins us live this morning to talk about the show. So hello. Hi. Oh my gosh. Thank Look, you. are so welcome for being here. I'm so happy you're Love here. You guys. Thank wow. you. We feel honored that oh, you are here. I feel so honored. Sincerely though, but congratulations on the new role. Thank you. You've, you've been doing it now for, yep. two, for two months. Yes. What has it been like? How's it going? It's a whirlwind. It is so fun. What's so great about the show is that you never get the same show twice. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, and so, and it, it's, for me, my scene partner is the audience, so it's never the same show for me twice because the audience is different every night Changing. and the energy is different. Yeah, so it's it's unlike any show I've ever done. I mean, I, that it's it's funny you say that because I'm I, from my understanding, I haven't had I haven't been blessed enough to see the show yet. But but you do a lot of improv. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you <laughs> stay in the? I, mean, I guess you don't stay in the moment, but I, I can't even imagine. Like, how are people not just like in control, uncontrollably laughing? Or are they? Well, yeah, that's the best part. When you can get your cast members, the other cast members, to break, I mean, there's nothing more satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> For the audience as well, I can yes, attest to that. Yes, people love, yeah. Oh, my God, I love the loves. breaking of the fourth wall or whatever yes. you want to call it. And that's what this show does so well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think what's so brilliant about this show is that what it's captured is Celine herself is so in the moment of life, right? And she has, there's no filter on Celine. She's just like so pure hearted. Yes. There's no like, you know, as we get older, we get self-conscious. Yes. Like, oh, what are people thinking about right. me? Or you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Celine doesn't feel no that. Filter. She just, yeah, she just does. And she's so in her body. And so like this show is that. It's just this in the moment, <laughs> joyous, ridiculous, 90 minutes of amazing songs. And then just the funniest, yeah. over the top, ridiculous story but what is that like then playing kind of a spoof of a real person yes it's it was it was a lot I remember <laughs> when I when I got the audition I was like say, like the woman who uh, created the role and who created the show Marla Mandel who's a genius has yeah. been doing a Celine impression since like high school I think oh my yeah. god I have yeah. not I got the audition and was like you know, so okay. you had to practice. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah, okay. I was like, you two being up a storm. Yeah, <laughs> and like finding the things about her that I could find in myself that were like gateways. Like she's, she's like so in her. You know, everything is like so. Yes. You know, yes. and and I'm a little kooky. You know <laughs> what I mean? So I was like, okay, I can definitely find the. You know, the the kooky physical. Do you remember what you did during your audition? Um, <laughs> oh boy. can we get you to do it? No, well, we had to do, we had to do, um, the opening monologue is, uh, to the audience, um, and they allowed us to do a little improv, so, uh, they were like, you know, improv how, however you want, so I remember for the callback, I was like, well, I can't do then the same thing I did yesterday, because, you know, oh I, so I was like, you had no to, I had to have, like, a, yeah, like, a plan B of, like, I'm like, those jokes worked yesterday, but then they're not gonna hit the same way. Because they already know them, That's right? Nice. So I'm like, oh, God, so I have to come up with new jokes, you know what I mean? That 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 don't go too far off the script, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. obviously they called me back for a reason, but, like, also, yeah. So um, I just remember trying my best to be as present in the moment as possible, because that's what Selena is. She's yes. just, like, here, right? I She's like, I, oh, my God, you're here. <laughs> you know I, 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 I just I'm so excited, you know. Celine, She's like, thanks for coming oh, on. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. like, Thank you. you. <laughs> now, were you obviously everybody knows who Celine Dion is? Yes. Were you a fan before? Do you have a favorite Celine song? Is it different now that you've did, did your hours of YouTubing and you went down those rabbit holes? That's a really good question. I saw Celine in concert. My mom has seen oh, Celine my. in Vegas a million times. Oh my God, so many times. And I finally went. And I and I always liked Celine, but I wasn't like a crazy right, sure. Celine. Um, and then I saw her in concert and I became a crazy Celine because it's like, she puts on a show like no other. Yeah. It's just like her voice it. is like, but she's just the most amazing showman ever. Um, I, in the show, I think I like singing, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, um, my heart will go on. I know it's so silly. Cause <laughs> no, it's not not. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think know. everybody sings that yeah. song in the I, shower. I'm singing like, in my head right now. <laughs> yeah, right, everybody, you can't help them. Yeah. 
Lady Lady. <laughs> and, it's, yeah, and it's so interesting sometimes because I'll look into the audience and, and you know, it's such a funny show, nonstop laughing, but that's like, it's like moment of like, calm and sweet and seeing people like start and tear up I, in the yeah. audience. It's like, oh my God, it's so like. Wait, well, if you think about the production yeah. of the movie. Yeah, oh Titanic God, was please, like, yeah. it's like iconic as it gets. And then you do this. Yeah. I mean, the comparison, like to pull that off, that's, that's no small feat. Yeah, it's, I, when I saw the show, I just as an audience member, because I was friends with some of the creators, uh, this okay. guy Constantine, who created, was one of the co-creators in the original Jack, he's amazing, we did Wicked together. Oh. And so I went to just see him as, as a friend and a supporter and a fan of him as a performer. And I remember just sitting there watching and being like, how the heck did they create <laughs> the, literally such magic? Because it's so hard to create an original show, yeah. right? But like, yeah. it is so magical and so funny, and uh, you can't help leaving the theater being like, so happy. Yeah. I feel like everybody I know who has seen it has just ranted and raved about it. Yeah, it's saying it's hysterical, and that's why people keep coming back over. Yeah. And there's people that have seen it. There's one fan that has seen it sixty times already. Okay. You know what I mean? Like it's because you know you're this never getting the Dan same. Man Arena. <laughs> 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 it's a girl. <grub. laughs> I was going to ask you, has there become a cult following? Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Like, do they show up in costumes? <gasps> the, the other day, there was a bunch of people. No. That were, yes, it was Get amazing. Out. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. It's, you, it's like you guys have created like a brand. Oh, 100%. It. It's like a little club. Yeah. Uh, but we have to, before we let you go, talk yes. about Wicked. My oh. probably all-time mm -hmm. favorite Broadway show. I think I yeah. can say that safely. The show is celebrating how many years? 20. 20 years. What? It's the fourth lo run, uh, longest running show on Broadway now. Yeah. You are a part of that legacy. As yeah. we mentioned earlier, you were the longest running Alphaba. Crazy. Alphaba. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. So though. much green. It's really what it's just like. <laughs> so much green in my, you know they put the green in yes. your ears. Oh my God. So you get like Excuse a wet, me? still in there Yeah, somewhere. it's probably like that. You get a wet willy of like a green paintbrush in your ear. She goes on, she goes, <laughs> Oh yeah. my God, it's green. Oh, truly. <laughs> when I first started dating my boyfriend, we would go for runs together and I would sweat the green. Like even after no, the shower, because it's like up in your hairline. He's like, what did I sign yeah, up for? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I don't know about this. Well, like, what it, but it, it, I don't know what it, I, I'm, I always have this conversation. And what it, I don't know why, but it is just one of those shows that re, I first saw it when I was 11. It literally reached into my soul and like grabbed onto my heart. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I cried. Same. I didn't know why I was crying. I was 11, but I was like, this is... This is something you're a part of that. Yeah. What what does that mean for you? It it is so kooky crazy, uh -huh. as we like to say in Titanic. Um, <laughs> it's kooky crazy to be a part of this f global phenomenon. Yes. You know what I mean? And and for me, I saw the show when I graduated college. I saw the original Ad Ad Adina mm -hmm. and yeah. Kristen, Kristen. And, and I had the same thing. Like, the second I sat down and the orchestra started playing, I started crying. I don't know why. Like, saying, yes. I was like, what? And when, I f when we finished watching it, I was like, oh, my God. I, I want to play that part. Mm -hmm. But also, I was like, this is... This is one of the most magical experiences I've ever had. Like the costumes, the, the music, the yeah. story, you know what I mean? The women, like it's just, it's so amazing. So to have been able to play that part and to be, you know, I luckily got to shoot the commercials. So like, you know, seeing, seeing my face I on a chills. billboard yes, in Times Square, chills. I'm like, oh. just some random girl from Connecticut, you know, small town of Connecticut, <laughs> I'm like, so it's sweet. so crazy. Yeah. My two girls are, are Broadway dreamers, yeah. and that was their first musical, yeah. the 10 and 8, and that was their first musical was Wicked. And my little girl has the same dream that yeah. you had. Well, so now she'll be on the billboard. Well, baby. You know? <laughs> I mean, listen, she so said amazing. her words, not mine, some random girl from Connecticut. It's me. It, anything <laughs> is possible. Yes. Yeah. Nothing is impossible. True. Okay? Yeah. Jackie Burns, it has been a pleasure and an honor to have you Thank on this couch you. with us. It was Thank so lovely you. to meet Thank you. Thank you. And hey, you can see Titanic at the Daryl Roth Theater. It's in Union Square. So for more information.